before we start this video, I just want to say I've just realised my channel's at 499 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I haven't uploaded in a month, and in that time, I've gained enough subscribers to almost reach 500. Do you realise how insane that is? Five, 500 individual subscribers. Like, that... That, that's insane. So it would really help if literally just any one of you guys watching could just hit the red button and that would hit five. That is, that is so cool. Hello everyone and welcome to the most favourite channel on the internet. I haven't uploaded in a while so I thought why not ease back into it with a little bit of a rant. I probably could go on about this topic for hours and it's about why America should no longer exist. Now if you can't tell I live in the UK and I think that every country except for America sees America as that one guy who is so completely messed up all we can do is laugh. So I've compiled a list of things that just makes America really clapped. Number one, apparently not all Americans have kettles. Surely that's just a basic household requirement. How how do you live without a kettle? I thought you guys are like obsessed with coffee. How, how? Bro, do you boil your water in a pan every time you want to have a cup of tea? Mental. Uh, on the topic of household appliances, apparently American plugs don't have switches next to them. The levels of stupidity cannot be comprehended why why would you not have that it, it just makes so much sense to be able to switch the main supply on and off next up americans are just so dramatic aren't they i mean i feel like they can make such a commotion about such a small you know insignificant little thing you know it's a talent at this point you know that one really really loud group of girls at the back of the classroom in every lesson that is America. They just need to chill out, I reckon. On the topic of classrooms and education, America's education system. Oh dear lord, where do we even start? Now, I think this applies everywhere, but um, most of the stuff you learn in school is pretty pointless. But especially for America, Jesus Christ. What do they even teach you in schools? One big, big example is during this pandemic, Americans refusing to wear masks. How... How few brain cells do you have to have to refuse to wear a mask? So Americans are going to be like, um, It's my God-given right to breathe. These masks are suffocating. They, I, I can't breathe. I just can't. Like, you surely can't expect us to live in such horrific conditions. The God gave us our right to be able to breathe air, you know? When literally countries like China, like cities like Beijing, they've been wearing masks as the norm even way before this entire corona thing started because the air is so polluted there hasn't been a single complaint this is what i mean about americans being all dramatic and to be fair that's probably where current culture stemmed from you don't get that many karens in the uk even though you do get a few i feel like america is is just the home of karens and the and the complaint to the manager people you know on the topic of white middle-aged americans the pride in your country is unbelievable. You guys are so patriotic. It's bewildered, it's scary how much pride you have in your own country. Over here, for example, I live in Shields. I'll say, yeah, it's a, it's a shit hole, mate. Liverpool, shit hole. Birmingham, shit hole. Norwich, they're all inbred. London, full of posh pricks. Middlesbrough, l literally nothing there. It might just not exist, it might just be a myth, who knows. Wales, inbred, and the shark sheep, really. I think it's just a national hobby to, to make fun of our own country. And then there's you guys, just, you know, thinking that you're the best in the world at everything. See, you know, actually, if you think about it, it would make sense if you think that America is the best country. Especially if you don't know any other countries that exist which brings me on to my next point geographic ignorance and jesus christ this is probably the most painful one honestly if you want to feel 10 times smarter 100 times smarter just watch this jimmy kimmel video where they ask random americans to point out just one country on the world map when i first watched it i thought it, this has to be a joke but the more i watched it the more i terrifyingly realize it's not any countries in Africa? God, no. Who knows stuff like that? Uh, continuing along the lines of education and knowledge, American spelling, humor, color. 
Now, obviously, we can allow it because, you know, you've changed it to be easier so, you know, your minds can uh, comprehend it. But um, it's when you claim it as your own language, which doesn't make sense. The fact that the British literally gave you the language, the language is called English because it stems from England. So when you tell us that we're spelling it wrong or we're saying it wrong, where, where's your logic behind that? And it's not just spellings too. Have you realised that some words that we use, you really dumb them down? For example, autumn, right? For us, I, I think autumn was named after um, some Latin word for uh, the seasons changing or whatever. You guys call it fall. Why is that? Oh, because leaves fall. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Clever. In cars, when you want to say uh, where you need to go. Uh, use indicators, right? Because, you know, you're indicating the direction you want to go into. No, it's, it's blinkers. Oh, why is it blink? Be wow, because they blink. Wow, clever. Nice. I like that one. That one has a twist to it. And don't even get us started on the chips and crisps and fries and whatever. You're just saying it wrong. One of the things that astounds me about America is that you pay tax after the original price of the item. Surely it would be so much easier to include the tax in the price like we do and pretty much every other country. And yeah, I realise that, you know, different states might have different tax percentages so it's easier for the company, but for the customer, it would be so much ridiculously easier if you just included it in the price. Like, I, I just couldn't deal living in America, me. That's, uh, ooh, one dollar, that's nice. nice. Uh, three dollars, okay. One dollar, three dollars, four dollars, yeah, makes sense. Four, all right, just get four dollars out, go to the counter. That'll be 647. Why? And I think the final topic that I want to talk about is Donald Trump. What, what, what can I say about this man? The fact that you guys had Barack Obama, right? You guys had Barack Obama in your palms he was your president do, do you guys remember obama do you guys remember how how cool he was how suave right he walks into a room he's confident everyone loves him he's out here looking fresh right he is dapper just just have a look at him have a look at his interviews his speeches the way he talks it's mesmerizing he was such a good politician i don't care what his views were i think he was left wing so that's good anyways you guys peaked at obama right and then somehow you guys managed to screw everything up and replace someone like him with someone like Trump. How? I mean, I know the choice was between Trump and Hillary and, you know, you don't want either of them. I get it. But Trump, come on, come on. I think the political system in America is that Trump is a Republican, which is right wing, which for us would be Tory, and then Obama was left wing, so that's probably like Labour. But Trump is just such an idiotic, racist, misogynistic, so many other words to describe him, man. I just, I'm in disbelief that someone like him, a psycho like him, is allowed to run an entire country. It blows my mind that he knows the top government, FBI, CIA secrets. He, he has the power to nuke North Korea. He has the power to start World War III. Even just saying it scares me. That man, that man has so much power and he shouldn't have. You guys have made such a downgrade, it's unbelievable. If you can come up with anything else that I missed in this video about why America should uh, have their rights to exist removed, then please leave it down below in the comments and I'll probably do it part two because it's pretty fun ripping into Americans, honestly, because it's all true, isn't it? And with that, I will see you in the next video in about six more months' time.